Hi, this is Greg in Pensacola, Florida. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Tonight is part 10 of the modular end build with Her Starts Molds. Uh, tonight we are, uh, we're going to go over the building of the bedroom with the recessed arch. Last week we did the uh, bedroom with the large window and that came out pretty good. Um, so basically this is another basic room. It's another basic 3x5. It does add a couple open windows right here on one side and then it does have a recessed arch that is in the uh, front part of the bedroom on there that you'll see when this is finished. So again, pretty simple build, three by five. We do have this decorative piece right here. This is where the uh, research recessed arch should look like when it's done. And these pieces should sit on top of the floor mold. Simple wall over here on this side, three by five floor, uh, two entrances into the bedroom, two open windows and the recessed arch. So overall, real simple build, nothing nothing too crazy about this one. A uh, couple decorative pieces on top, just making sure they're far enough off the uh, off the base so they'll sit on top of the floor tile mold. And uh, you know, everything went together pretty good. So without further ado, I'll swing it into the time lapse of me uh, building the uh, walls and floor and uh, painting everything up. So stay tuned, I'll be right back. All right, this room here, I usually, uh, when I do each wall, I try to pull all the blocks out first, and that way I can uh, lay them out in front of me. And sometimes I do a couple dry fits on there. Uh, you'll see on the bottom pieces, I do try to glue the, uh, the ends in addition to the tops. Before, I used to only do the top pieces on there, and I found that uh, I get a little more strength if I glue the actual pieces where they butt together also on the bottom. And that, I mentioned that in my last video. You see how I'm starting to build the corners when I build the one piece as a wall. I'm fine, I like this method a lot better. So I can get one straight wall, one right corner, and especially these corners that blunt off on the uh, entrance and exits to the room. I highly recommend if you're gonna build it, just build them together because pushing them together after they dry, I've had some pieces on here that get so tight that it actually has broken one of those end nubby blocks. So. Right here we're putting the two, uh, the two arches in, and then on top of there I put the, uh, you'll see to the right of the screen, those two little L-shaped pieces, they sit there on top and they cover it up. So those are like an eighth inch big and the two L-shapes and they, they form a uh, half inch block. Just doing some of the decorative pieces on top. This room is pretty easy from start to beginning, so it's nothing too crazy here. This right here is the beginning of the, uh, the recessed arch, so that's what I'm building right here on the table. You'll see uh, one block. The first block I put down is actually sticking up off the mat, and then the other ones are laying flat. I'll tilt it up right here in just a second. You'll be able to see that that piece on the bottom is a flat piece. Again, relatively easy piece to build. And you'll see here, I'm, here's where I'm using some of those uh, leftover blocks. Remember the blocks in the early videos that I glued too many together of? Oh well, yeah, I'm still using those to get those used up. So you'll see that uh, I try to fit them in where I know they're going to be covered up. Decorative pieces on top, and then this is another habit I've gotten into on the wall pieces that I can, I flip them over flat on the mat and then I push them down. That way I'm sure I got a good flat surface on the back. And again, you'll see on the uh, the lower part of the screen, I did build the, uh, the 45 degree corner piece right into this. So when it dries, it'll all dry together and uh, should dry straight. And it's, it's gone a lot easier that way. Here you see me put the two decorative pieces on the front and I use that little spacer that way that floor spacer right there that way I know I have the right gap distance between that decorative piece and the uh, floor tile itself. This piece here just flat wall so just building it straight up it's got a couple of the uh, the hint it's got 
the interlocking side on the lower part of the screen. Pretty easy. We'll put a few decorative pieces on the top. We'll let all this stuff dry. Now here's where I build the 45 right into it because I can slide these blocks in without any issue. So you see on all three pieces here, I built the 45 degree corner as I went along with it. And it, to me, I think I've done this on the last two, three rooms and it's really helped with how the room has gone together in the end. So I believe on this piece here, I only needed to lock the, the piece you see on the left. And then here's where I talked about, here's the finished pieces. So this is what they look like before we start painting. They're all dry, the corners are on there. I think they came out pretty good. Now we're putting the base coat down. This is the uh, the dark earth tone. And usually I let this, like I said in the last video, I let this stuff sit overnight. Usually the initial base coat, so you'll see this is, this is the next day. And I'm coming back and I'm putting the uh, first highlight on here. And we just do two highlights on the floor. Whereas on the walls, we'll do all three highlights. So, and this is the medium earth tone shade. Bruce has the colors on the uh, on the website. This is cowboy hat in the Olympic. And now we start our initial uh, our initial highlighting of the wall pieces. This is the quicksilver in Olympic paint. And again, I let these pieces dry overnight. Also, for the dry brushing. I just give it 10-15 minutes between the two colors and it seems to go okay. I did like the two window openings when it's done and all together. I think that came out looking pretty good. Um, I know it's on a bedroom. You got two big open windows like that. I don't know. So you can <laughs> you may be able to repurpose the room for something else in your adventure on there. But I think the look is good. If I do some more rooms for the inn, I think I might keep this feature in a couple of the new rooms I build. First highlight's going on pretty good. Here it got a little light, because I think after I get done with this piece, I actually go back over the other pieces a couple times, just trying to bring the, uh, the shades out just a little more. Highlighting's pretty quick. You know, all these pieces, 30, 40 minutes for both coats. Um, it is beating on my brushes, though, pretty good. Now, here's the uh, the final highlight. So this is the uh, Abracadabra in the Olympic color. Also, the uh, Castle Grey Light. And again, if you're looking for the colors, they're on Bruce's page. He has Sherwin-Williams, Olympic, Valspar, and Walmart's color. He'll also, if you send him a self-addressed stamp envelope, he'll actually send you the color swatch so you can take it to your uh, local paint store and have it matched. So I thought this all went on pretty good. I'm really happy with the highlights, you know, and I do keep the other pieces on my desk so that way I can slide those pieces over and I kind of usually sit back a little bit and look just to make sure nothing is glaringly different in the, uh, the highlight stages that I put on these walls. And here's pictures of the uh, finished floor. And then here I dry fit the uh, the walls around it. And this is another angle picture of that. And welcome back. And here in front of us we got the completed uh, bedroom of the recessed arch. Overall, real simple build. Painted up a few new pieces of furniture to put in the room just to try it out, to try some different color options and a couple pieces I hadn't painted yet. I painted up a bedroom. Put a nice blue on there. I also added the footboard to the bed this time. So small difference between the, this is the green bed from last time. So you can see the end. So you can either do it with or without the footboard. So I just painted them up and just glued it on the end. There's also a uh, bed roll right here. I did do a uh, chest. I did it with some uh, kind of an, a reddish gold metallic accent on it. So I thought that came out and looked pretty good. 
and we did a uh, a closed pot, a open pot, and then this one corner piece. Because this uh because this room has these large windows right here, you know you can't put a sidewall piece over here like you did on the uh, the other bedroom. So I just painted up a uh, corner piece really quick. Same design that I same color scheme that I used on the uh, like the uh, coat cabinet. And it'll sit right here in the corner and you can put a book on top of it, a bowl of fruit on top of it or whatever you want. You know, you could put it on top or just leave it empty like I had it right there. So the finished room right here is the recessed arch for the bedroom. We got two medium sized windows over here. So in case you're sleeping and want to look out, I guess you can look out. Uh, that's the back of the recessed arch. The uh, first entrance and the second entrance. So overall, was a real easy build. Went together pretty quick. Uh, you know, outfitting the room. I just decided to throw this stuff in here like this. It doesn't take much time at all. I got the bed roll on top of the bed. We'll put the corner piece over here. We'll put the pot on it this time. And then we'll put the open pot over here. And again, plenty of open room in this uh, in this bedroom. And I'm trying. Oh, I was looking for my figure to put in here. So. Plenty of room. You can easily fit three figures in this room with the way it's outfitted right now, with the you know with what few things I have in here. I can do some wall decorations, but I won't do that until I finish painting all the accessories. And because once you put the wall decorations down, those are kind of permanent. So, but the stuff on the ground floor of the room, it's really quick to go by. So, two more rooms to go. We got a kitchen, and we've got the cellar to the kitchen. So it should be pretty quick builds. We got a Labor Day weekend coming up here in the states and uh gives me three days off so i should be able to knock those other two rooms out get everything filmed up and maybe up on the uh up on youtube by monday so i really appreciate you guys commenting on the last video you seem to like the uh the time lapse being added back in i did do an overlay track on it did an overlay track on this video also even though the rooms are pretty similar um you know not a whole lot different to talk about on there but you know just just to talk about the process of the build uh, so now we're going to move on to the kitchen the kitchen's going to have your wooden floor tiles and it's also going to have some of these stone tile pieces right here and then we're going to build the cellar so we'll have a open piece in the kitchen that can go down to the cellar and we'll build a small ladder down there and that way you know so if your adventurers go down into the cellar they would go off into it out of the room and the, the ladder would represent that movement off but again appreciate you guys liking that last video uh everybody that commented on it thank you very much the new subscribers that i picked up since the last video thank you very much for subscribing to the channel and i appreciate you guys sticking in there and watching we're 10 parts in we're almost off page two of this build we'll be on page three when we get on page three we start hitting all the smaller stuff like the uh the items that you would put inside these doorways to block the room so you'd only have one way in or out we're going to build a couple sets of stairs we're going to have a balcony for the second level and then we're going to knock out painting out a whole bunch of these accessories because so we can fill all these rooms up so you guys have a good night i'll talk to you in the next video and thanks again if you like that video please hit the like button and if you like my channel please hit subscribe thank you